Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my boxy sherm unboxing. <coughs> I get a lot of questions about my little cup. This is a Starbucks cup. I bought this on the Starbucks website and this is where I drink my Cuban coffee every day. I'm obsessed with this little cup. Red is my favorite color and I just, I love it. I love it. Yeah, let's just jump into my boxy sherm, shall we? So as you can see, I have absolutely no makeup on today. There are quite a few things we're gonna try out in today's box. These two things just fell out. The theme of this box is boxy baddie. And the first thing in the box is this. I was really surprised to see this in the box actually because this is an eyebrow pencil from MAC. It's called eyebrows. Literally this is called eyebrows. Like not an eyebrow pencil or anything, it just says eyebrows. Eyebrows by MAC. This pencil will add everything you need, shape, color, and density. This is obviously full size and this retails for $18. And they sent the shade Spiked. I'm not sure if they sent that shade to everyone, but that's the shade I got, so that's the shade we're gonna try out. Wind it up here and see that, ooh, this is pretty dark. I'm sure we can make it work. Let me zoom you in. Okay, so obviously this eyebrow pencil is just a little bit too dark for me. I do like the dark brows, but this one might just be a little too dark for me. But I did like the formula. I think it applied really nicely. My brows look hideous on their own, which is why, I mean, they look crazy right now. I haven't done my brows in like a month. I'm actually going tomorrow to finally fix them. The hair is like down here, it's intense. But anyway, besides that, I did like the formula. I just didn't like the fact that there wasn't a spoolie. I had to go into another brow pencil and brush it out because there is no spoolie on this and I don't understand why. Like a brow pencil without a spoolie, why? Why? So this is like, although it is pretty interesting that MAC is in a boxy charm. I mean, MAC is now at Ulta, guys. That's insane. When I was in high school, if you weren't wearing MAC, you just like weren't cool. MAC was the it brand. And it's so insane to see that it's now going into Ulta and ColourPop is going into Sephora. Like what? It's just, life is insane. Anyway, let's move on. Next up in the box is this thing. This is the Pure Soiree Diaries eyeshadow palette. <laughs> this is a full size palette that retails for $34. And these are what the colors look like. They're very, very, let me take this thing off. They're very pretty, very natural colors. I haven't even swatched them yet. Ooh, they feel super creamy. Ooh, even this matte feels really, really delicious, wow. So of course I'm gonna test out a couple of these eyeshadows on my eyes just so that you can see a few of them in action. I'm gonna zoom you in really quick, but first I'm gonna apply some eyeshadow primer and then I will begin. I'm gonna go in with Splurge. And I'm gonna use this color in my crease. I'm gonna use this color as my brow bone highlight. Going in with this shade now, this like reddish brown. I'm gonna add a little bit of this on the outer corners and in my crease. I'm gonna take this shade and I'm gonna use this on my entire lid. Why did I say lid like that? Lid. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of this like dark purple color. I'm gonna add some of this on the outer corners. And I'm gonna go back into that shade we used all over the lid and I'm gonna just intensify it. I'm 
I'm gonna do my lower lash line as soon as I'm done applying my foundation and stuff. So let's move on to that really quick. Okay, I know this video is all over the place, but there, the things are all over the place. Next thing in the box is this, is our next step to our makeup. This is the Bare Minerals Face Perfecting Brush. It is a foundation brush. I'm pretty sure this released when they released their serum foundation, and I think I've already tried this, and I don't remember liking it. I always apply my foundations with a beauty blender. If not, I use my It Cosmetics like heart foundation brush, but I never use like flat top. I never use like these round flat brushes like this. And this one has a little hole in the middle. I don't know if you can see that, but you're supposed to like drip their serum foundation into this little hole. But they do say this foundation brush works with any foundation. So we're gonna try it out today. I'm not sure I'm gonna love it because I really, I just prefer a sponge because my skin is dry and it just makes the skin look a little dewier. I'm actually gonna take the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I have been testing this out. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do an entire review on the whole collection. I've pretty much tested things and I can give you like a hits and misses video instead of like a first impressions, you know? So I'm gonna use this. I actually do really like this foundation. I'm gonna pump some. Okay, I put it in the hole. Oh my gosh, wait, I didn't even prime the skin. Am I crazy? I'm just gonna use a moisturizer. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's, let's just, this is so weird. It's like collected in the hole, so I don't, I don't know. I feel like a lot of the foundation stays collected in that hole. Maybe I press and then rub. But I felt like a lot of the foundation was just staying in that hole and not really coming out. But if you do kind of like press on the skin, it does come out. <laughs> I'm just gonna add a little bit more. I like how it fits right in between my eyebrows. That's awesome. I probably would love this brush if it wasn't for that hole because I actually like how small it is and it gets perfectly around your nose, your brows, all that stuff. All right, so really quickly, I'm gonna do my concealer and some powder and some bronzer and all of that before I continue on. All right, now I'm gonna go back into the Pure Palette and I'm just gonna go back in and do my lower lash line and just, you know, finish this up. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with the eyes. I really, really like how this look turned out. I like how these blend, I like how these apply. I don't know, I really, really like this palette. It's very natural, perfect for every day, but you can get a really nice smoky eye out of this, so this one is a winner for me. I'm going to apply some mascara, and I will be right back. Okay, so we are only halfway through the box. I feel like I've been sitting here filming this video for hours now, but we are halfway. <laughs> The next thing in the box is the sky. I was so excited when I saw this in the box. Briogeo or Briogeo. One of my favorite brands and yet I still don't know how to pronounce it. I love this brand. They make one of my favorite leave-in conditioners and one of my favorite hair masks. They're so good. Oh, this is the hair mask. How did I not notice that? This is the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. For some reason, when I opened the box earlier today to see what was inside, I thought this was something totally different. <laughs> but yay, this is so exciting because it's in like a travel size. Now I can actually take this with me to travel because mine is in like a tub, you know? It's a little harder to travel with. This isn't the full size. The full size is like 36 or like $35. This one though is 20 bucks, which I just love this whole squeeze thing, but I don't think you can get this one at Sephora. I wonder if I can get this size on the actual website because I actually prefer this packaging over their, you know, 
But anyway, this is a great deep conditioning hair mask. It's free of sulfates, silicones, parabens. It's just really, really great stuff. It's 98% natural. And I just, I love this brand so much. I'm so excited that we got this in the box. I'm so excited you guys get to try this because it's such a good hair mask. But okay, moving on. Next, ah, next thing in the box is this. This is from the brand Studio Makeup and this is their Loose Blush. Gotta be honest, that threw me off a little bit when I first read that because I don't, I don't own any loose blush and I don't know if I would reach for loose blush, you know? And just the thought of loose blush kind of makes me nervous, but this color looks so pretty though. Here we go. I'm not gonna open this all the way so it's not messy. I'm just gonna leave a little. And I'm gonna take my Linda Halberg 310 brush and I'm just gonna dip right into this blush. Ooh, I like that, I like that. I'm just gonna apply a little more though. I really like this color. It's very natural. It does have a sheen to it, but it's not something that's bothering me. It's not like glittery or anything. So this is really nice. Packaging isn't super convenient. Loose powders are a little bit more time consuming, but I really love this color. And you will never run out of this blush. By the way, this is called the Luminous Loose Blush. And I don't know what the name of this blush is. It doesn't say. I don't know if they only have one color or something. I'm not sure. Okay, and then last but not least, we have a ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip, which is amazing. I love Ultra Satin Lips. They're the best formula ColourPop makes. And even though these are only $6, I think it's amazing that they're in the box because it's just so, so good. And this one is actually in the shade Little Stitches, which I just gave this one away to one of my friends. It's so funny, so funny how life works. It just came right back to me. Okay guys, so that was everything I got in this month's Buxy Sherm. I did the math on my calculator and the overall value of this box is $141, which, wow. Some of the things in the box this month were a little and for me, but I overall really enjoyed it. This is amazing. This is so good. This is amazing. These two things were the only things I was like, mm, not my favorite, but I mean, for the price, you cannot beat Boxy Sherm. So yeah, guys, let me know if you like this box this month. Do you hate it? Do you love it? Let's discuss in the comments below, but that completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.